Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are going to discuss about transformation. This is the first lecture of this series, and there are four types of transformations. Number one is translation. Number two is reflection. Number three is uh, rotation. And number four is enlargement. Stretching and shearing are not included in our course, so we will discuss four types of transformations. Number one is translation. Number one is translation, which is moving the object from one place to another in x direction and in y direction. without changing the size, shape and orientation. To form this image is called translation so in order to explain these I am going to draw different triangles for you having same size shape and orientation and also with different orientation as well so first triangle having five squares as base and four squares as a perpendicular another triangle having five squares as the base and four squares as the perpendicular now this is another triangle having five squares as base and four squares as its perpendicular this is four squares having perpendicular and five squares as base I'm going to draw another shape which is rectangle So let's give them different names A, B, C, D and E. If you compare A and B, they have same size, same shape and same orientation. Okay, if you compare triangle a and C it has different orientation although base and perpendiculars are same okay and if you compare A and D then it has same base and perpendicular but different orientation so says size and shape are diff are same but different orientation if you compare A and E the triangle and rectangle then size shape and orientation all are different okay 
so translation can also be explained in this animation here is an object and I move this object in the x direction and then in the y direction so the movement of object in x direction and y direction with same size and shape is translation the same object is moved to a downwards and in the x direction negative x direc direction to form the image 2 so the translation takes place between object O and image 1 and image 2 because same size same shape and same orientation between these between the object and these images okay another animation is presented for you to explain the translation object is moved towards image 4 it cannot be fit and same as image 5 so no translation takes place between object and image 3 image 4 and image 5 if we compare object O and image 3 then size shape and orientation all are different okay and if we compare object O and image 4 then size and shape are same but orientation is different that is why it is not fit into the image 4 and if we compare object O and image 5 size and shape are same but orientation is different the translation is represented by T normally and this is called translation factor or column vector as well it is represented by H and K where H is movement in the X direction and K is the movement in the Y direction so it can also be represented as the formula which is image is equal to object plus translation factor where i is image o is object and t is translation factor or column vector as well so we are going to discuss the translation factor how do we find it in the last slide which we have drawn already object image 1 and image 2 so how do I get the corresponding vertex of uh, image uh, image 1 if I count the uh, uh, small boxes in the x in the x direction then x is equal to 11 4 squares are from downwards so y is equal to minus 4 so the translation factor is x which is 11 and y which is minus 4 if again I take another two corresponding vertices of object and image and count them in the x direction and in the y direction so we get the same result which is x is equal to 11 and y is equal to minus 4 now if we take another vertices of object and image two triangles then we go minus seven downwards and on the left side in the x direction so x is equal to minus one so translation factor is 
minus 1 and minus 7. If we take another set of corresponding vertices of image of object in image 2, then count in the minus 1, minus 1 direction and then downward in the y direction. So y is equal to minus 7. So same result is there and the translation factor is minus 1 and minus 7 okay let's have an example related to the uh, translation given that triangle a 5 3 b having coordinate 10 3 and c 10 7 is mapped onto triangle xyz with translation factor minus 4 and minus 6 draw and label the triangle both the triangles okay so ABC is a triangle which is an object and XYZ is an image so object is actually mapped on the image here triangle ABC is an object mapped on to XYZ which is its image Now plotting triangle ABC where A is 5, 3, B is 10, 3 and C is 10, 7. Now drawing triangle ABC. We are going to map this triangle A is 5, 3, B is 10, 3 and C is 10, 7. So it is drawn like this. ABC and now image is equal to object plus translation factor so what are the coordinates of uh, triangle A is 5 3 10 3 and 10 7 and translation factor is minus 4 minus 6 so if we add 1 by 1 5 minus 4 3 minus 6 10 minus 4 3 minus 6 10 minus 4 7 minus 6 so what we get over here minus 1 minus 3 6 minus 3 6 1 so these are the image the coordinates of image 1 by x y and z so these are the coordinates of image so x is 1 minus 3 y is 6 minus 3 and z is 6 1 so we are going to draw this image we can easily solve it directly the translation factor is minus 4 6 that is x is equal to minus 4 and y is equal to minus 6 now we can take corresponding vertices of object and image which is vertex a and vertex x now move four squares on the left negative x-axis from a and 6 squares downward on y axis because y is equal to minus 6 so starting from vertex a of object we reach the corresponding vertex x of image with the help of the transform transformation factor now b and y are corresponding vertices of object and image from B move X in negative X direction that is on the left side and Y is equal to minus 6 that is downward now third set of corresponding vertices of object image are C and Z so move X is equal to minus 4 from C and then Y is equal to minus 6 to reach the vertex Z of the image so this is very easy and direct method 
to map object on to image with the help of translation factor so if you have any problem or uh, question then please ask me in the comment section thank you very much